guys! Welcome to my channel. I'm Shamea. And today, pag-uusapan natin ang iniiwasan ng maraming tao, ang depression and anxiety. So, if na-experience nyo mga bagay na to, then most probably may anxiety kayo. You tend to zone out and stare blankly. Bigla kang natutulala. Pangalawa, binge eating. Yung, um, hindi ka gutom, pero kain ka ng kain. Gusto mo lagi kang may hinunguya. You always, um, go to the kitchen. Nagbubukas ka ng ref. Um, naghahanap ka ng pagkain na meron doon. Kahit na hindi ka naman gutom, basta lang gusto mong makakita ng pagkain at kumain. Number three, hand tremors. Yung biglang nanginginig yung kamay ninyo. Um, na hindi nyo makontrol. Number four, palpitations. Um, dahil parang kinakabahan ka sa mga bagay na hindi mo alam. Number five, headache. Tension headache, lalo na kapag dito ang masakit sa inyo. Or dito, most probably, that's um, caused by stress and anxiety. If you have dry skin, no, biglang nag-dry out yung skin ninyo, nagkakaroon kayo ng mga um, skin allergies na unexpectedly or out of nowhere, tumutubo siya, kumakati yung balat mo. And then next, mood swings, irritated ka, and then bigla-bigla ka nalang magiging okay, or bigla kang nagagalit, Mag mabilis mag-change yung mood mo. And last but not the least, crying unexpectedly. Yung bigla ka nalang maiiyak kahit na wala namang dahilan. Basta you're emotional, you feel sad, tapos bigla kang iiyak. So, ito yung mga signs and symptoms kung meron kang anxiety or panic attacks or mild depression. Kapag mild depression kasi, ibig sabihin, um, na-experience mo na to for a um, long period of time. So, mga one month or two months. Hindi kayo nag-iisa guys. Kasi ako din, personally and honestly speaking, na-experience ko rin to bilang nanay, bilang magulang, bilang anak. Marami tayong iniisip. During this lockdown, I'm very blessed to be able to work from home, to have the ability to have an income while working from home. But of course, I can't help but worry about the future. Sometimes I think about what if this happens to my company? What if this happens to my income? What if my savings will deplete because of this situation? What if, what if, magkaroon ako ng COVID? What if, blah, blah, blah. So, ang dami nating iniisip, natatakot tayong lumabas because we don't want to contract this disease or this virus. Lalo na sa mga tao ngayon na walang income, lalo na sa mga tao ngayon na limited lang ang budget nila, I really feel for you guys and I pray that the Lord will bless you and that the Lord will open opportunities for you and your family. Okay, I'd like to share with you the things that um, help me ease my anxiety. So number one, take a bath every day. Okay. Maliwala kayo at sa hindi, ang pagligo araw-araw ay nakaka-apekto sa mood natin. Lalo na ngayon, summer, kung hindi ka maliligo, hindi, hindi marirelease yung init sa katawan mo. So, kapag naligo tayo, it helps us relax. It changes our mood. So, maligo tayo araw-araw, mga beshi. Hindi lang po dahil maawa tayo sa pamilya natin na nababahuan sa atin. Pero, gawin mo to para sa'yo. Number two, hydrate yourself. Ate Mea, bakit po? Miss Mea, bakit kailangan well hydrated? Anong kinalaman nun sa depression? Anong kinalaman nun sa anxiety? Yes, there is a correlation between being well hydrated and depression and anxiety. Bakit? Okay, I'm going to explain to you in the simplest way that I could. By the way, I'm a registered nurse by profession. So, hindi lang po gawa-gawa itong mga sinasabi ko. Alam ko po ito, pinag-aralan ko. Ang ating brain ay composed of 75% water. Help yourself elevate depression and anxiety by being adequately hydrated all throughout the day. So, every system in our body counts on water um, to be able to function properly. And in fact, the brain is not exempted. So, if you are dehydrated and um, hindi ka uminom ng maraming tubig sa isang araw, then your brain's function and activity becomes interrupted. So, kung um, dehydrated tayo, hindi siya nagpa-function properly. And alam nyo ba na ang mental health natin, I driven primarily by brain function. So, kung dehydrated ka, it impedes your uh, the production of energy in your brain. 
Dehydration also impedes the production of serotonin. So serotonin is a neurotransmitter that helps in the regulation of your mood. It results in the feelings of dejection, um, irritability, sadness, loneliness. Okay, number three, we need to wake up early and sleep early. Alam ko, napakahirap gawin to ngayong lockdown kasi feeling mo, you have all the time in the world to do everything. Pero, if we will try to wake up early, mas makakontrol natin yung schedule natin kesa yung um, late tayo gigising, tapos nagmamadali tayo for work, and then hindi na natin nagawa yung mga important na kailangan natin gawin sa umaga, like kumain ng breakfast, mag-exercise, uminom ng tubig. Number four, spend time with your creator. 30 minutes to one hour, mag-spend time ka sa kanya, read the Bible, bigyan natin siya ng oras kasi this is the perfect time actually, this lockdown is the perfect time for us to give time to God because we have all the time in the world now. Kung marami kang time para sa k-drama, marami kang time sa mga ibang bagay, then hindi um, dahilan yun para hindi natin bigyan ng oras ang ating Panginoon. Number five, exercise three times a week. Sa mga tinatamad dyan, three times a week pwede na yun. Kasi pa nag-exercise tayo, um, nag-burn tayo ng calories, at saka nag-release tayo ng heat sa katawan. Nare-relax tayo actually. Pero kapag nakasanayan mo na siya, mas nakaka-relax siya sa katawan, mas mas parang feeling mo energized ka. So next one is take a break from social media or work and just um, go out. Huwag naman out dyan sa labas ng bahay ninyo, kahit sa balcony lang, or sa bintana, buksan mo yung bintana mo. And just enjoy the nature surrounding you. Kung yung bahay ninyo ay walang nature sa paligid at puro building, just enjoy the creation of God, be thankful for everything, just focus on the things positive things na meron sa buhay mo yung mga blessings kasi kung lagi kang magpo-focus sa negative then most probably it will lead you to depression talaga you need to help yourself then walang ibang makakatulong sa iyo kundi ang sarili mo it all boils down sa iyo you need to decide sa sarili mo na i need to change my mindset and last but not the least have a legit conversation. Pag sinabing legit conversation, yun talagang magkausap kayo face to face or kung wala ka mang kasama sa bahay, mag-isa ka lang, makipag-zoom ka or video conference sa loved ones mo, makipag-usap kayo ng walang social media. Talagang pure conversation lang kasi yun ang nami-miss nating lahat. Dahil lahat tayo connected sa social media, lahat tayo connected sa internet. So, nakakalimutan na natin mag-usap-usap. And it's really good sa pakiramdam na meron kang kakwentuhan about life, about your aspirations, about your dreams. So, that's it. Have a legit conversation. So, yun lang po ang mga tips na mabibigay ko sa inyo ngayong lockdown and I hope na makatulong to sa inyo and if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel click the red subscribe button below and be part of my family if you think na makakatulong to sa mga ibang tao um, share this video and be a blessing to everybody thank you guys for watching bye!